Hello everyone, it's James. I'm in Nishiakashi, that is west of Kobe, and I'm leaving Starbucks. I'm suiting up right now. I'm heading over to Okubo. By the way, I'm getting a lot of stares from people because I have the camera mounted on my helmet. I love my motorcycle because it gets me around really quickly. If you happen to get a motorcycle license here in Japan, you're going to notice a big difference in the way they ride over here. By the way, this is a two-way road. I know it's very narrow, but it is. I still have a valid car motorcycle license from Canada. And I have a license, of course, for Japan. It took me some time to get used to riding in Japan because there are some things that you can do in this country when you're riding that you can't do back home. If I were to ride the way I ride in Japan in Toronto, Canada, I would be busted. And I'm approaching a full stop. I look both ways, then I proceed once it's clear. You'll notice other riders and other cars um, not doing that. Since I live in Japan, I follow the rules to the T. I obey the laws. And by the way, it's a pain in the ass to argue with a Japanese police officer. Now, do you see that white line on the left? That is for scooters and cyclists. Do you see that cyclist on my left? That's what I mean. You won't find any dedicated bicycle lanes. You'll just find a white line and uh, you can actually drive between the white line and the curb and pass other cars. This road leads to a farmland and there's a speed trap usually in that area. Oh, you see, I can just pass everybody. I would never do that in Canada. And here is the farmland. So I usually see police hiding on the sides with their radar guns, but I don't see any today. But I'm keeping my speed limit. I'm staying at 50. That guy's going over 50 kilometers an hour. I'm going to take a shortcut, but I'm going to let that old guy on that bike pass me first. Yes, this is perfectly normal here in Japan, what I'm doing. Just go slowly. Whenever I see cars passing me at an intersection, I slow down, just in case they cut me off. Oh, by the way, that black car in front of me, to the right, is a taxi. And taxis in Japan, um, the doors open up automatically for customers, so you never have to touch the door. Just like taxi drivers in the West, they're nuts over here as well. Japanese taxi drivers are polite and they dress well and they always wear white gloves. Oh, what I'm doing now is illegal, but this is Japan.
always make a full stop at a railroad crossing, look both ways, then proceed. If a cop happens to see you not stopping and looking, you're going to get a ticket. I'm going to take another shortcut. Oh, by the way, we're in Okubo, that is, west of Akashi City. Okay, I already went to my school, and now I'm heading to Okura Kaigan. You are going to love coming to Japan because you'll find vending machines, drink machines, cigarette machines everywhere. In front of me is Okubo Junior High School. I'm going to make a right over here and I want to get onto the main road. The main road that I'm going to is called Meiki Kansen, Route 250. This is Meiki Kansen, and the maximum speed here is 60 kilometers an hour, but up ahead, it drops down to 50 kilometers per hour. And this bridge over here is also a speed trap. And now I'm back in Nishiakashi. And there's a policeman on a motorcycle. And traffic over here is pretty bad because it's the weekend and there are a lot of condos and apartment buildings nearby. And up ahead, uh, there is a supermarket called Max Value. It's on the right hand side.
to Akashi City. Just the outskirts of it. I am just south of JR Akashi Station. This is the older part of Akashi. Do you see all those people hanging out in front of that shop? They sell tamagoyaki. I hear it's delicious. So now I'm going south of Akashi Station and in front of me is a traffic light. No, seriously, there is an island up ahead. The name of that island is called Awaji Island and you can get there by crossing uh, the Maiko Ohashi Bridge which is east of here. On the right is Akashi City Hall. I'm getting close to Okura Kaigan. I'm going to a supermarket called Lamu. They sell discounted foods. There is Lamu to my right. So I'm going to stop there. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time. Bye.